Hi, my name is Mike Garena, and welcome to my house of curiosities. I've been doing animation for television for about 30 years on some pretty popular shows. When I'm not working for other people, I collect strange things, and here's my house. When people walk in, they're usually pretty shocked at all the strange stuff in the house. They'll say, well, what's worth the most money? We don't really care about that. I just like the way it looks. I like the beauty of it. And I can tell you a story about every tiny little thing on that wall. One of them is this little mummy. And when I was a kid, I said, Mom, you gotta keep this with you forever for the rest of your life. And she said, yes. And she had kept it with her till the day that she died. And I love this. It's important for me to preserve things and save them for the next generation. And I have a rule, if you like it more than I do, you can take it home. And I've given away thousands of things. So this is the living room and this is where I do most of my relaxing. If you'd like to see my office space, it's right over there. In this little office space, nothing really has a planned space. I just kind of try to fit things so they don't look chaotic. This is an old shooter game from the show Bonanza. The goal is to try and hit those horses, but it's fun. Everybody seems to love this when they come over. Oh, there's the mine. This is where I do my work, and I work at home. But I have my mascot of the evil Santa. I like things that nobody else would want or things that other people would be scared of. When I'm not doing animation, I like getting stuff around the house and painting them, like I did this monkey. Here's another toy I painted. I didn't really like the hat, so I gave him a chef's hat and some scrambled eggs. Sometimes there's just a flow and you don't want to get in the way. This is kind of the catch-all room where everything kind of ends up that doesn't belong out there. This is one of my favorite scary things. This is Baby Secrets. Scariest thing in the world, I love her. The 60s were the best time for toys. Back then we had toys that were not just really fun, but we had some dangerous toys too. Like these ones, the creepy crawlers and creepy people. You could legitimately hurt yourself and end up in the emergency ward. And I still remember that smell of the burning wax on your skin. Okay, last but not least, another thing I like doing is getting old toys and refurbishing them to make them cooler. It was some kind of old fairy tale thing, but I took it apart and I put skeletons in there. <laughs> this is the outdoor shed, which my wife and I turned into a carnival room. This uh, room was an effort. It took a while to put together. I've always wanted a fortune teller booth, so I made this one and you can get fortunes. Here's one that says, your efforts have unfortunately gone unnoticed. There are people that refuse to step foot in this room because it's so scary. But for me, I love it. It's a labor of love and I think it's an extension of myself because I love carnivals and the creepiness of them. Don't panic, it's just the drugs. Thanks for coming by. I hope you like this tour of this house and we'll see you at the swap meet. Before you go, let us know if you enjoyed this video. Drop a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exclusive tours.